Welcome to Faith is the Victory podcast, a ministry outreach of Faith Christian Center in Cairo, Georgia. This is Pastor David Coleman, Sr. Today's devotional is titled, Strong and Courageous. Joshua 1.7, Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. The Bible is God's revelation of His plan and His love for all mankind. In the Scriptures, we learn of His goodness and His grace as expressed since the beginning. Scripture tells us in Deuteronomy 29, 29, that the secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. The Bible, therefore, is a revealing of God to man and should be taken as such from cover to cover. It is unfortunate that too often Christians overlook the relevance of scriptures found in the Old Testament, thinking it no longer bears relevance to us now that we are in the new covenant and it has been established by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. They tend towards a mindset that thinks that since we are now in the age of grace, that there is nothing to be gained from study time spent with those men and women whose reliance for redemption was through the sacrificial system of the law given to Moses. This is a mistake, for the scriptures tell us of the Old Testament saints that all these things happened unto them for in samples or examples and they are written for our admonition, our warning, upon whom the ends of the world are come, 1 Corinthians 10, 11. The law of Moses has been fulfilled in the finished work of Jesus. It was all fulfilled by our Lord through his death, burial, and resurrection. And we are saved because we have faith in what he did for us. And it is by his great name that we are saved. For the scriptures tell us that there is none other name under heaven, that's the name of Jesus, given among men, whereby we must be saved, Acts 4.12. This is a New Testament reality that should bring a shout of joy to every believer. But there is so much that we need and must learn that is found within the pages of the Old Testament, such is the case with our scripture focus from Joshua 1.7. The Lord himself is speaking to Joshua after the death of Moses when he tells him to... Be strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law. So you may ask, how am I supposed to learn from this scripture when it's telling me to observe and to do all the law? That is a fair question. That is a relevant question to consider. Let us reflect on who Joshua was and what situation he found himself in when the Lord spoke those words. Joshua, the son of Nun, was an aide to Moses. You might say he was one of Moses' right-hand men. He was a leader of Israel and the successor to Moses after his death. This was a tremendous weight and responsibility in which Joshua found himself. He needed the Lord. That is something you and I can learn immediately. In our life, we need the Lord. We need Him more and more every day. We all have different issues we are dealing with in our various lives, but no one is capable of handling this life on their own. No, we need the Lord. And not only do we need the Lord, we need to hear what He has to say to us. One of the great things the Lord tells believers is told to us through this moment in Joshua's life. The Lord did not hold back when He told Joshua that He needed strength and He needed courage. 
Tests and trials were coming to Joshua, and he would need God's help to bear up under the weight that was now upon his shoulders. Strength and courage were needed from God. That's true for us as well. That's true for us today. Some of life's challenges cannot be endured without strength and courage far greater than human ability can muster. We need the strength that comes only from God. Joshua needed this strength and courage to do what God said, which was, observe to do all the law. Now, as New Testament believers, we are not fulfilling the law, but we are called to be hearers and doers of the word, James 1.22. So we still need that strength and courage to do all that the New Testament requires. Romans 1.17 tells us, As it is written, the just shall live by faith. And we are also called to fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of eternal life, whereunto thou art called. 1 Timothy 6.12 Yes, we need courage and we need strength, and the Lord himself is giving it to us each day. That's why the Lord tells us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, Ephesians 6.10. And this is exactly what he told Joshua. The strength that comes from God is key to our success in life's greatest challenges. And this is how it comes. My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. The Lord wants his word to be fulfilled in our lives, and he has given us many examples from the Old Testament saints of how to live out our lives in faith, fully trusting God. If we would take a few minutes and read the 11th chapter of Hebrews, we would see a long list of names of people who God honors as being men and women of faith. And these aren't New Testament people. No, they lived long before the New Testament was written. So I would encourage you to take the whole Bible into your study and let us learn from the Old Testament saints and their experiences and let those lessons help you navigate your way through life by trusting God and putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, I pray that this word helps you remain strong in the Lord strong in prayer, and strong in faith. And because I believe it will, I'm going to say amen to this encouraging word today, and I'm going to ask you to say amen with me. If you can, say it out loud. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, friends, for joining us again today on Faith is the Victory podcast. Join us again next time as we continue to discover that faith is the victory that overcomes the world. This is Pastor David Coleman, Sr. of Faith Christian Center in Cairo, Georgia.